but we're going to win because the people understand it is our campaign, our movement, which is best positioned to defeat Trump. Progressive Senator Bernie Sanders did enjoy all the momentum in the race for the Democratic presidential nomination. Not anymore. The moderate wing of the party has united behind former Vice President Joe Biden, with failed candidates Mike Bloomberg, Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar and Beto O'Rourke all throwing their support behind him. So who's left in the left? It might surprise you to learn that little-known candidate Tulsi Gabbard is still hanging around, even though nobody's voting for her. In truth, she's not the slightest bit relevant. The race is now a simple two-way fight between Mr Biden and Mr Sanders. Each is presenting a very different case to voters. Mr. Sanders, a self-described democratic socialist, is promising an economic revolution. Mr. Biden, who served as Barack Obama's vice president for eight years, is framing his candidacy as a return to decency. The president can fight, but may no, make no mistake about it, I can fight. But look, we need as badly, as badly, someone who can heal. Both candidates are also claiming to offer the best chance of beating Donald Trump in November's general election. For Mr. Biden, that means attracting moderate and independent voters who supported the president four years ago. For Mr. Sanders, it means inspiring record turnout from the Democratic base, particularly young people. We are putting together an unprecedented, grassroots, multi-generational, multi-racial movement. These two competing visions will dominate the rest of the Democratic primaries. On the one hand, we have a party establishment desperately struggling for control, and on the other, a revolutionary candidate who is trying to tear it down. Democratic voters have been left with a simple binary choice. Now they just have to make it.